Mina, come on, Jesus freaking gamer. Here, and I just read. <laughs> the hero was very delayed, wasn't it? I just read about the worst possible game that could ever be played. I, I'm pretty sure I'm reading this incorrectly, but it's in 2 Samuel chapter 2. I'm um, starting in verse 12. Now, Abner the son of Ner and the servants of Ishbosheth the son of Saul. Context David had just been anointed the king over Judah, and Abner, who was. Um, Saul's uncle, I believe. Google that if you want to. He took one of Saul's sons, whose name was Ishbosheth, and made him king over the other 11 tribes of Israel. So Judah follows David. The other 11 tribes follow Ishbosheth, the son of Saul. Obviously, there's going to be a little bit of tension here. And Joab, the son of Zariah, first time Joab is mentioned in the scriptures, and the servants of David went out and met them by the pool of Gibeon. So they sat down, one on one side of the pool, and the other on the other side of the pool. Are we building up some tension? You better believe it. Then Abner said to Joab, let the young men now arise and compete before us. And Joab said, let them arise. So here's how they decided to compete with each other. So they arose and went over by number, twelve from Benjamin, followers of Ishbosheth the son of Saul, and twelve from the servants of David. And each one grasped his opponent by the head, and thrust his sword in his opponent's side, so they fell down together. Therefore they, that place was called the Field of Sharp Swords, which is in Gibeon. How's that for a game? Instead of, let's smack knuckles against each other until someone gives up, or smack knuckles against concrete until someone gives up, or bang heads against each other until someone gives up, or hit each other as hard as they can until someone gives up, or kick each other in the ball sack until someone gives up. That last one sounds so bad. It's like whoever 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 draws heads on that one, whoever goes first is definitely winning that one. In this one, you grab your opponent by the head and you thrust your sword through them. And everyone just friggin' dies. What kind of a competition is that? And then verse 17, so there was a very fierce battle that day, and Abner and the men of Israel were beaten before the servants of David. Now considering that one side won and one side lost, I'm going to assume that this isn't, you know, both sides grabbing each other by the head and shoving their sword through the other person's body. Uh, although, I wonder if the whole thing started off that way, and then both sides decided to actually just go at each other's throats in full, and then at the end of the day, David and his servants won. Uh, I don't know, I'm not, it's one of those things where it's like, if that, if I'm reading this correctly, it sounds like those first 24 men killed each other, and then both sides just decided to go at it in full. And I'm like, you know, I have no problem, this sounds so bad, I have no problem shoving my sword through someone if I owned a sword, which I don't actually. I have no problem like shoving my sword through someone and them dying, that's fine by me. I'm not willing to take their sword through me and die with them. No. If I'm going to fight, I'm going to fight to win. I'm not going to fight for a mutual destruction. That's stupid. That's literally suicidal. Why would anyone do that? Another wonderful story from the Bible for you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just read that. I'm like, you know what? This is pure insanity. I think I'm going to share this. And the Bible... I've covered so, I believe it or not, I've covered so many worse topics like genocide, for one. Whereas this is mutual destruction, um, and that's really horrible. Well, then again, I guess based on what I just said, genocide would be much better. Because then, you know, you're not both c killing each other. Just one side is single-handedly and single-sidedly killing the other side. This is, this whole video has gone in such a horrible direction. And there's just, there's no winner um, <laughs> reading a story like this. And I like the way the Bible sometimes just tells reality like it is. Sometimes there's not a winner on either side. Sometimes it's just all really horrible and nasty. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. Um, yeah, this is definitely uh, a little bit more controversial if you watched all the way through it. In the end, the Bible is a book of great controversy. By all means, leave your comments in the description. Not the description. I talk in the description. Leave your comments in the comment section down below. Let me know if you think I'm reading this wrong, or if this is just crazy, or if you think the entire Bible's whacked. I don't believe that. I do believe that the story where God told Israel to go in and wipe out the inhabitants of Canaan, I've actually 
gone into detail on that on a previous video. And I believe God is the ruler and the judge of all living beings and of all flesh. I do believe he is just and wise in the things he commands his people to do. This particular little thing was commanded by Abner and Joab, and this was not wise. This was not good. There was apparently no victory here. There was only destruction on both sides. Even though in the end, once everyone started going at it, David's men won. And I've already this this has turned into rambling. I'm gonna stop here. Yeah, leave your comments in the comment section down below, and let me. This is supposed to be typing. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.